Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams, and look who it is, it's Wanda. Um, and I have a problem. My dog has fleas, but Minitab can help. So here's my dilemma. Uh, Wanda went to the dog park, and there were 50 dogs there, and 27% of them had fleas. So now I've got to figure out the probability that she played with a given number of dogs that had fleas, which means she's got to get a flea back. So I can solve this as a binomial because either the dogs had fleas or they didn't. So I know that the probability that they had fleas was 0.27. And I know that my N, or my number of dogs, was 50. So using binomial probability, I could find out the probability that she played with exactly one dog that had fleas, or more than 10, or less than 10, or between 4 and 15. What I want to show you is how Minitab will allow me to create a simple set of numbers, I don't know where that came from, sorry guys. A simple set of numbers that I can then insert binomial probabilities into and then I can solve anything. So I'm going to start with creating this number set. But before I do that, I've got to tell Minitab where to put my stuff. So I'm going to put in C1, I'm going to put number of dogs with fleas. Oh, it's not a variable name, huh? Okay, there we go. Dogs with fleas. That becomes my X, and now I'm going to put here probability of fleas. All right? So just name your your columns. I mean, your, yeah, name your columns. Because many tabs going to ask you where you want to store this stuff. So I'm going to come up here to Calc, and I want to make pattern data. Pattern data is just simply data that assumes a pattern. So I want to do a simple set of, whoops, a simple, <clears throat> excuse me, a simple set of numbers. Now I'm going to get this pretty cool box. And this is where it says store my pattern data in. And I'm because I'm going to set up my numbers first, I want it to go wherever my x variable is, right? Which is my number of observations. So in this case, I want to store it in dogs with fleas. Remember, I can either just double click or I can highlight it and say select. So what I want it to do is I want it to go from zero, probability she played with no dogs that had fleas, and I want it to go up to 50. And I want it to go in steps of one. In other words, I want to go from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. You get the picture, right? I only want to list each value one time, and I only want to list the sequence once. So in other words, I don't want it to go 0 to 50, 0 to 50, 0 to 50, 0 to 50. All I'm going to do now is hit OK. Mini tab. thanks for a second, and ta-da! Look what I have. I have 50 numbers in 50 columns, which is so much better than this whole idea of typing in 1, 2, 3, 4. So now that I have my pattern data, I'm now going to go to the binomial distribution where I'm going to go to Calc, and I'm going to go to Probability Distributions, and I'm going to pick Binomial. So when I go to Binomial, 
because what I want to do is I want to fill in that column C2 with the probability of each individual value occurring. I want to use probability. In other words, I don't want it to give me a running total. I just want it to calculate the probability for each individual value between 0 and 50. So I know I have the number of trials was 50. The probability that they had fleas was 0.27. And here's the difference. I want to use an input column. I don't want to use a constant. I want it to use those numbers from 0 to 50 as the input. And I want it to store it in the probability of fleas. So number of trials, event probability, input column, optional storage. That's why I had you do that. Name your columns first. And now I'm going to hit OK. And what Minitab does is it comes in and it gives me the probability associated with all of those different values. So see I have a probability. I now have a binomial probability associated with each one of these. So what if I wanted to know the probability, I'm sorry I keep moving this guy around. What if I wanted to know, I'm going to make it big. What if I want to know the probability that Wanda played with exactly 14 dogs who had fleas? Well, right here. Probability she played with exactly 14 dogs that had fleas, point one, two, three, two, six, seven, or roughly 12.3267. Well, what if the pro what if I want to know what's the probability that she played be with between seven and ten? I would take the value for seven plus the value of eight plus the value of nine plus the value of ten. So those three probabilities right there would give me the probability of between seven and ten. What if I wanted to know the probability of more than 25? I would take from 25 all the way to 50, and I would add them together. So this is a way that you can literally create your own binomial probability table based on your... Why does that keep showing up? Sorry. Based on your number of observations and the probability of the occurrence within your sample space. So remember, we go to Calc. We say make pattern data. We say simple set of numbers. Just remember, do some ahead of time work and name the column where you want the data to be stored and then make sure that you give it an output column so that when you get ready to do your binomials or your poissons or whatever distribution you're going to do, that you've got some place to dump it. So, thanks a lot. I am off to buy for some flea shampoo.